Hello, my name is Sara from Next Generation Pilates. Today I'm going to be filming a short Pilates flow which basically targets any stiffness that you might feel in the neck, shoulders and the upper back. Quite common, particularly if you've been studying all day. It's good to do at the end of the day just to open the chest and relax the whole body. The first exercise is simply breathing. You're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, relax the shoulders down. We breathe in, breathe out, relax the shoulders. Last time, breathe in and breathe out, relax. We then take the hands down and we internally rotate the shoulders and externally rotate. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And you can chop and change the breathing so you can breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and in. One more time, breathe out and in. And then we're going to stretch the front of the neck because often any tension in the back has a corresponding tightness in the front. This is called howling at the moon and you'll see why in a moment. You place your hands here on the chest. There's a slight downward pressure. Don't yank the chest down, just a slight downward pressure. We then rotate the head to one side, lift the chin slightly, and then we push the bottom jaw out like this. And the other side, breathing in and rotate and push. Good, and you'll definitely feel a stretch along the front there. After this, we just roll the shoulders. So put your fingertips on your shoulders. We're going to breathe in, curl and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And again, you can play with the breaths. You can breathe out and breathe in, breathe out and breathe in. Good, and then we'll come to the mat. Okay, now we stretch the front of the neck and the shoulders, we now need to focus on the side and the back. So in order to stretch the side of the neck, my favorite stretch is simply putting the hand down here and putting the ear towards the shoulder. If you need a deeper stretch, you just place the other palm away and you flex the fingers and you will definitely feel a deeper stretch. Make sure that you don't overdo it because the muscles in the neck are quite sensitive. So come back for a break. And then if you want to go back again, you can gently look down towards the knee and back to center and up. So you'd repeat that all on the other side. So you would take the ear towards the shoulder. And if you need a deeper stretch, you just reach the palm down towards the floor on the opposite side. And then again, you would rotate the nose down towards the knee, back to center and up. In order to do the back of the neck, you need to imagine a candy cane, if you like, or the top of a fern. So the spine is nice and long. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we simply take the chin to the chest, but the spine stays long. So I can move and show you from this position, possibly. We're going to breathe in. As we breathe out, the spine stays nice and tall. It's simply the chin going down towards the chest and back up. So I'll show the way not to do it, which is basically just this. We breathe in, breathing out, spine stays nice and tall and we just curl the top of the head down towards the chest. You should feel a stretch all through the back of the neck and the shoulders. Okay, now we've targeted that area, let's come down to lie on the floor. In this position, just do a body scan. So feel as if your head is heavy, your shoulders are heavy, the top of the back's heavy, as is your pelvis, and your feet are grounded into the floor. We take the arms up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders away from the ears. We simply take the palms out and close. Twice more, out and close. One more time, out to the side. Turn the palms down towards the floor and now reach the fingers away to the opposite side of the walls and slowly place them down. In this position then we would just let the hips roll and back to center 
And one more time to the other side. Just see how that feels. If that feels okay, we would then cross one foot over the other and we would gently take the legs away. As we breathe out, imagine the spine coming back to the mat first and the legs are simply coming along for the ride. We go to the other side, the legs gently drop away so the shoulders stay in contact with the mat the whole time. Breathing out, draw the tummy in, draw the spine back to the mat and the legs follow. We now take the arms back up and we reach one arm, then another. So we're just loosening any tightness that we may feel in the shoulders. And we then rotate the chest along with the arm. So the shoulder will come off for the mat with you. One more time, each side, up and down. Good. In this position then, we turn the palms to face away from us, bring the arms above the head and breathing out, we make a goal post shape with our arms and we close up to the ceiling again, breathing in behind the head, breathing out, goal post the arms. So I'm not flaring my ribs at all, they're staying connected to the mat the whole time. And then I bring the arms down towards the floor. From here now, we come to kneel. And we're just going to do a scapular reset. So we take the arms in front of us, we bend the elbows, we take them up just as we did lying into that goalpost position, draw the shoulder blades together, and then bring the elbows down in towards the back pockets and reach away. Again, the arms come up. Elbows bend, draw the shoulder blades together, rotate the palms upwards and draw the elbows towards the back pocket of your jeans or your trousers. Reach away. From here now we just circle. Good. Twice more. Turn side to side. And we're done. Thank you.